All right, uh, I want to share with you information on how we are going to create uh, humans for uh, our project. Once you open Make Human, it's going to open to a setup like this, and I want to make sure we have settings. Uh, I believe you can see my mouse. <clears throat> uh, first and foremost, uh, in this modeling, we want to make, uh, we want to decide, we want a human, like a, a male, and uh, I'm just going to show you different things, the most important settings, because there are many things you can play around with. When we come to geometry, this is all about the clothes. But before we choose the clothes, I want you to go to this topologies tab, because I need, to, I need you to choose this male generic, this male generic. I can actually enable the mesh, so you can see the poly count. This is actually high detailed mesh, but because we will be hiding, all the mesh below the clothes it doesn't really matter uh, so um, uh, once we choose that then we go back to the modeling and we choose the uh, clothes I believe uh, the clothes are now where do I find the clothes uh, geometries yeah then I go to this clothes tab make sure this is enabled hide faces under the clothes because we want to choose the clothes well there are quite uh, a lot of clothes we can use here for this man, I want to I want us to use a, a male casual. This one, this is fine for the test. Uh, you can actually use it. Then check that all the mesh behind the clothes is actually hidden, because we don't want to export all the mesh that can that cannot be seen. Uh, it's just added geometry that doesn't really help. Uh, just makes the model heavy. So we will be using quite many of these humans that's why we have to make sure that the poly count is not that high then after the um, clothes I want to choose uh, some shoes for this guy uh, let's see I'm not a fashion designer but uh, let's choose some nice shoes for him uh, that's option one option two option three who wears a suit with some official shoes I think uh, no, let, let me give, give him some sport shoes. These, these ones are nice. These white ones, I love these ones. So we have him complete. I don't think uh, he needs something else. Uh, we want to choose the skin color. It's important because I need um, I need you to be able to uh, in this material tab. I want uh, you can see we have many 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 skin tones. I want you to randomize. So when you create a new character. Try a new skin tone. For this one, I'm going to use a young Asian male. I find this pretty much okay because I don't need to add hair for him, you know. But if I really wanted to add some hair, I just uh, I would have come here in the materials tab. There's a place where we can add hair in this modeling. If you come to face, uh, not modeling, but geometries, hair. You can find that we have, uh, we can, for example, try to give him some uh, some afro hair. Well, it looks nice on him now, but I don't want to use it because he has some nice head. I don't want to cover it with hair. That's all we have created the character. Now we we need to export it. Uh, there are more things you can add here. The eyes, use the high poly. That's all right. The hair, we don't need that for now <clears throat> for this character <clears throat> sorry for that we don't need teeth we don't need uh, sorry eyebrows you know we may have some we may not I don't think it's necessary unless we are really looking for beauty but it, it will just add more geometry that we don't need the eyelashes I don't think we need them but maybe you can try with some like uh, that let me try that I don't know whether it's fitting for him, looks like the, these ones are more of female. For a male character, don't use the eyelashes. And for the tongue, we don't need the tongue because he's not going to be speaking. That's all. Uh, <clears throat> so, what we need now is to come here and export. Uh, it's best if you export as Colada. Colada is the best. Uh, you should, we used to use this Make Human Exchange, but it's not working in Blender right now. I don't know what I can do to make it work, but this would have been the best. This make human exchange. But for now, let's use Colada. Um, we'll go here, this button here, and uh, give him some name. I want to call him Human Free, and save that. Uh, and I can see he has been saved. 
then I'm going to open my blender once I open blender I'm going to delete everything file import collada I open the location where I saved him human3.dae import him and right there is our guy he has been imported to blender so if I click on these materials I can see actually he has been exported together with these materials and that's kind of cool uh, I need to check his scale size and rotation so I'm going to add um, in this menu I'm going to add a rigify rigify um, amateur human meta rig you can see the guy is a little bit shorter so I'm going to select this and I'm going to scale it just so that it matches that and that's just for the uh, scale if I press N and I go to the item I can see that the scale has not been applied so control A scale when I check the rotation I have X at 90 degrees I don't want that control A rotation and that's all we need for the size and the rotation is okay so I'm going to delete this armature because I don't need it then I'm going to save this blend file as human 3 so I don't lose the work so I have now the guy the guy is in blender but uh, we also need to make sure that the materials are okay so I go to the shading tab and I try to check the materials we have so uh, for this one I'm going to do a quick um, demonstration on how you will do, go about it for the shoes uh, they need a specular but if I check from the textures I know that these shoes came with a normal map so I'm going to open and then uh, I'm going to choose uh, his normal maps for the, clo for the shoes where do I find that? it should be somewhere inside here and if I open uh, this texture tab I can tell that the shoes should have some normals or oh, these ones don't have a normal map some shoes will have a normal map just make sure you have some uh, what about his clothes? do they have a normal map? because it's important if we capture the normals let me, let me see here what we have uh, male cashews yes this one has a normal map so I'm going to duplicate that I'm going to add a bump map uh, on the height I want to make sure it's at 0 0.02 that's the height then I'm going to connect the normal to the normal uh, that's pretty much okay so then I come to uh, the skin doesn't have a normal map well when I come to the eyes it's very important I I need to create a new material for the eye and this is going to be eye glossy I uh, let me call it glossy because it's the outer part of the eye that's transparent and glossy at the same time uh, under this glossy scroll down and in the blend mode select alpha hashed so we can see the transparency and in this case I'm going to create a new material uh, I'm going to mix between a glossy and I'm going to create a transparent BSDF so I'm going to make sure that that makes a zero connect these two like that and then uh, ramp it up up to 0 0.8 or something like that check what works for you then select these outer shells of the eye and assign and that's how you get his eyes to work for the eye brown that's the inside part of the eye you can reduce the roughness to make it a little bit more shiny so check what works for you so the, the material setting is done but now this guy is in T pose we want him to have a nice looking pose you know maybe like someone who is standing someone doesn't stand like this if you want to make him work in terms of standing we are going to use a different software and this is online it's called Mixamo let me show you how we use Mixamo so uh, open your browser I'm using Google Chrome and I'm going to type Mixamo so this is an Adobe website I'm just going to open it directly here Mixamo.com 
make sure you open this side uh, mostly for it to load and uh, it opens to something like this maybe yours might be different so the only important thing here we need to do is to upload a character but now we can only import an fbx so we are going to go back to this character that we made select everything i want you to name this collection to human 3 so that if I want to use it, I know exactly which collection to use. Then I'm going to select all the meshes here. File, export, FBX. Then I check uh, selected objects. That's the only thing you need to worry about right now. Then make sure it's named human3 FBX and export. Go back to your Midzamo site. You can either select that fbx file from here or you can simply go to where you saved it and drag and drop so human 3 fbx is right here i drag and drop here i'm going to have it uploaded it's quite fast the object is quite uh, light wait for the site to process this character so the only thing we want to do here is generate a pose for this model without having to go through the pain of rigging this character using the the default blender rig because that might take quite a lot of time and uh, yes we don't want to use so much time I'm just waiting for this uh, plugin to load my model it has loaded but without the textures that's okay don't worry about the textures next I want to set the rig for this so I start with the chin make sure it's quite there in the middle you're going to get those guidelines up here when you drag these dots place uh, this in the right this is the wrist we know where the wrist is you place it right there the elbows place it in the elbows uh, this is the right knee so the right knee of the character is on this side uh, side I don't know. it doesn't really matter like uh, right left doesn't matter place it at the knee then the groin is on this line at the place where you bend I would call it the waist just a little lower the pelvis bone if you will then press next and wait for the plugin to make a rig for you with some default animations and that's going to take just a few minutes let's see how it's going to be Come on, I'm waiting for it to do the rigging and add some custom animations. Oh yes. Yes, I can see it's done. It might take up to two minutes depending on how complex your character is. Uh, this one is not uh, complex. We have the rig done. It should appear there with some animation. So you can check that it's acting like a normal human being and that the right and the left uh, you know sides of the character have, have been uh, perfectly loaded that's our guy and he's actually moving so from here we go to next your 3d character has been uploaded proceed with, the, with this new character and you press next you say yes I want this new character because I need to choose some animations for him so I want to see how he would walk. I press walk cycle and I search for walk cycle. Uh, let me see in this database the kinds of walking styles we have. We have for female in red and for male in blue. I want to see one good, just a standard walk cycle. If I can't get a standard walk cycle, I might have to search for something else like standing. There are so many animations here, you, I don't have the time to check each and every one of them. I want to see, for example, just a standing pose. Uh, standing up, like this one is okay. I want to check this one. This guy is laying flat. And then he decides to stand. Let's see that animation, how it would happen. It would... Uh, hmm. Although I like this one. I'm going to finally use this one, but let's see first how the one I chose first is going to be. So the guy is standing. Uh, it's pretty impressive, I must say.
let's use this one standing ah this is perfect this is what i want so uh this is okay i'm going to download now uh in fbx format with skin i don't know what that is but leave the settings as they are and download preparing download just a moment and uh i can see it right there it's downloading i should see it in the downloads folder i believe it's done it's done it's called standing so i'm going to cut this and paste it in the same folder where i have the rest of my humans then go back to blender in this case i want to get this out of the way because i want my my new human to be appended right here in the center append or not append but import fbx standing fbx import and there it's our guy he is standing and he came with a basic rig so this is the guy that we want now we want this guy but now if you check his materials ah uh, they are not the same as this now the only thing we need to do is make sure that he is using these materials okay link these materials just select him and select this make sure he's using the materials not from the fbx folder file but from the file that we made that's why we want to use him link those materials um even for the eyes let's make sure that uh, these eyes are using the same materials as this link materials i can see all of them are okay i don't think there is an object that doesn't have the material we want and that's it uh, that's it now you have this guy uh, the only thing you can you can do perhaps is you can see these frames that define his movement you always want to make sure that he is when you're rendering the pose is exactly what at, at the place you want or maybe you can select one pose where you think it's okay i think this is nice for a standing pose then i'm going to select this pose and control i which is inverse select to select every other vertex not vertex but keyframe then uh, delete them so you only have one frame where the guy is standing and that's it so that's the far the, the, the pose you want after this i'm going to select everything here and now collect this into a new collection called human maybe i say zero three and I use capital letters to know that this is the, you know, this is the collection I'm going to append in the scene where I want it. So we have the human. Now I'm going to repeat this step, creating more and more and more. So go back to make human. Maybe this time make the guy brown skin or, you know, black skin. Change his clothes, change his shoes, repeat all those steps until you have a bunch of them and that will be 